Whether you're an experienced marathon runner or just starting out on some of the shorter races, it's always good to get some expert advice. And that's what's coming up right now as we meet Paul the Pacer. Hi, Paul. Hi, how you doing? These guys have all gone off to eat their pasta. <laughs> so could you explain to somebody that doesn't know what a pacer is, what you do, and how you end up here in Limassol? So everyone has a goal, um, target time for their race. And as we all know, it's really difficult. One of the first things that you struggle with is actually having your pace right. People set off too fast, uh, people are nervous, uh, people get anxious on race day and just everything goes out the window. So the idea of a pacer is to um, help uh, relax you, calm your nerves just by being that voice of motivation and support. So I like to see us as mini cheerleaders. We're there to help support people along the race and most importantly, take away all the pressure in terms of worrying about your time. You don't have to do that because that's what we're there for. This thing's sticking out of your back. Yeah, that's my wind sail. You actually run with this? Yeah, so this is us and it's nice and easy to find us on race day. So we'll be able to stand out of the crowd, you'll see the flags and you just pick your target. So for me, four hour marathon, if you're aiming for four hours, you come and run with me and the aim is I will be coming in at 3.59.45. So a few seconds under target time and importantly, run consistently. So that's a 9.09 minute mile or 5.41 minute kilometre. And I will do that each and every kilometre. So people just need to run, not worry about the pace. And when you're not thinking about the struggles, it becomes much easier. It's like a training run. So as a layman, I come along and I assess my my abilities yeah. and I choose wisely who I'm going to follow, who's my pacer going to be. And that will help me as a marathon runner. Is that correct? Absolutely. So. Hopefully, people turn up on race day with some understanding of what they can run through their training, through previous races, and those goals. And I always say some people um, don't have um, that goal in their mind or they're not sure. And I say, actually, you need to, first of all, understand what you want to do because you have to have some idea of your capabilities, right? Because what we can do is keep you a steady pace but we can't change your capabilities where you are on the day. And the idea being, some people, for uh, I've had people that want to run a four hour marathon and they set off at a 3.40 or 3.45 pace because they know that they tire later on. But what my message to, to them is always, you tire because you've gone too fast at the beginning. If you stick with the four hours, if that's the goal, your real goal you're going for, that's where you're going to be able to have your target and I've had people running with me for four hours who've tried for years and years and never been successful, run with the pacer, and all of a sudden, not only do they finish in their goal time, they feel good at the end and they feel they can do better. So we're here at a pasta party. It's about 24 hours before the race starts. What is the right thing to do between now and the race tomorrow morning? So the best thing you can do, um, you need to go and rest, sit down, I'm going to um, take this off in a moment. I'm going to get another bowl of pasta and I'm going to um, sit down. And after this, I'm going to go back to the hotel, watch a film with my family uh, and just try to rest. People get too caught up sometimes with the buzz of the atmosphere running around. You just need to be resting. Um, pizza, pasta, whatever works for you. We've all got our different choices. I absolutely love a pizza and pasta um, and resting. And that's about 12 hours before. What time will you wake up in the morning and what will you eat and drink when you wake up tomorrow? So I, um, I'm i going to wake up probably about 4.35 o'clock, um, mostly to get my bowels moving because uh, I like to um, make sure I, I'm quite regular before I start. Um, I will be heading down to race start at 6.30 because it's a 7.30 start for the marathon. Also have to take into account um, the road closures. So getting there. Um, I'll wake up with some water, I've got some hydration drink, which I'll be using, and a couple of bananas. That will do me. Really? Um, I used to I used to eat porridge and, and so on, but I, I try to take it a bit more, um, a bit more minimal these days. No gels, no oh, electrolytes or anything like that? Yes, yeah, so my, my hydration drink is electrolytes, and I'll be having that before I start. Um, and then during the race, I've got my energy gels and I'll be taking them one every 5k works for me. So I've got my gels all ready to go. Um, and on the course, I will mostly be having gels and um, water. I tend not to use electrolyte drinks on the course unless it's one I'm familiar with. Um, and that's the thing, like 
you can absolutely always use on the course. Always recommend practice with your gels and know that what works for you because no, you don't want to be trying something in your own race day uh, if you can avoid it. Of course, if you've forgotten your gels, if they've ran out, pick up what's on the course. Better to stay hydrated, keep your nutrition going. And the last bit of advice, when you're running, if you feel like you are dehydrated, if you feel like you need a drink or you need uh, nutrition uh, or any energy drinks, it's already too late. Okay, when you feel that you need it, your body's needed it a while beforehand, okay? So drink little and often, keep your gels regular, don't take too much, but keep it going all the time. And since you're so experienced, one final bit of advice. After the race, what's important? Well, the sensible thing to do is to make sure that you get the weight off your feet, get hydrated. Don't down a bottle of water straight away, because sometimes it'll come back up. Okay. <laughs> Sip, make sure you're, you, you need your body to settle, okay? And then just eat food. And I think after a race, for me, it's whatever you, you're craving, whatever you fancy. And, and that's actually what I think is a real uh, motivation for people. I always say, you know, what, is, what drink are you looking forward to? What food are you looking forward to? Actually, you replenish. But actually, one of the things that helped me recover is a gentle run or walk the next day. Most people struggle to walk the next day, but believe me, it may feel difficult when you start. It feel a bit like Kaiser Suze if you watched Usual Suspects all those years ago. You, you know, you're struggling to move, but when you get going and loosen, you, you get all the lactic acid out of your body and you feel much better for it. I always like a nice soak in the bath. Um, people rave about cold water. I like a nice warm, relax, and just take it, take the weight off. I guess everybody's different, but when, you, when you've done it enough times... You know what works for you. What's your background with running? How did you end up doing this? So I've been running for many, many years now. Um, I ran as a child, and then around about 2006, I started running half marathons, 2011 marathons. Um, tomorrow will be my 152nd marathon that tomorrow. I'm running. And yeah, I for a long time, probably about 10 years now, um, I got fed up of running for my own goals. I wasn't enjoying running anymore. And so one day I saw an opportunity to become a pacer and things changed for me. So rather than just getting my own personal best and sometimes not managing it, now every time I'm out there, I help people get many, many personal bests. Um, and it's a much more enjoyable experience for me. And I hope that that can then pass on to the runners with me. Are you a member of a running club in the UK? So I'm, I'm a member of the 100 Marathon Club. And so that's a, a, a club that's actually around the world, um, in the UK. And so we've got our members. I don't go running as a group of them. We tend to meet up and do marathons. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> yes, you're not going for a little jog around the park. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're very happy to have you here. Thank you. So about in the UK, are you from? From London. You're from London. Okay, well, we're very happy to have you here in Limassol. Thank you. And thank you for sharing so much of your valuable knowledge. Thank you for having viewers. me. No, it's, it's fantastic. Well, we hope you found that useful. And if you did, please let us know in the comments below and give us a like. You can subscribe to Share Cyprus by clicking our logo on the left-hand side of the screen. And over on the right, there's more marathon videos. Thanks for watching.